Okay, I'm Nicolas Canelos. I'm the director of Recovering the U.S. Hispanic Literary Heritage and Brown Foundation professor of Hispanic Studies here at the University of Houston. Uh, I have been intimately involved with the Perales Collection since it came into our halls, and in fact, uh, Carolina Villarroel and myself organized teams of people, at times many, many people, to get the papers in order and present them to the library. Uh, what became very obvious to us from the beginning was that Alonso Perales never threw away a scrap of paper. Every little note, every draft of a letter, every draft of an article that he published, and in fact many drafts quite often, was saved by him for posterity, which indicates to me that he had a pretty good idea that what he was doing had historical value and that it should not perish. And it seems to me that that idea, its historicity and its importance for the development of Latinos in the United States, was understood by his children who donated the collection to the University of Houston. Uh, Perales was many faceted. His collection cuts across many fields, law, literature, sociology, education. He was involved in so many different fields and he was an activist in all of them that probably this is one of the most complete and most central collections of Mexican American and Latino life in the United States from the 1930s to the 1950s. Uh, the papers, the publications, the drafts, especially the correspondence, will be fruit for many, many, many dissertations, for books, for articles, and rewriting of history and rewriting of the curriculum from, from many grade levels, probably from elementary school through graduate school. So we are completely enamored of this collection and we see a great future for it.